Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship and bless you. Thank you for your children that are here now. As we share together, let us be blessed by you. Let Christianity, this real Christianity, walk in the lives of these people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You can be seated. We wrote again. Christianity is sensitive spiritual discipline. Christ Christianity a sensitive spiritual discipline. Christ, Let us understand it and overcome the situation that is killing Christianity in our lives. I want you to know that Christianity comes into the has come into the world but passes through a period of Revival, dead, revival, dead, revival. Si ten ambe, ibu onye nke Christ mo, ubere nke Christ, batara no wa. Oga bi gogo, otutu, onu, onu cha, atute ya, eme cha, onu kozo, atute kwa ya. It is a sensitive religion on earth. Obu, ubere nke di, oke mparene, neno wa. It rises and falls. On a kuli manada kwa. In the life of individual, you will see a man zealous, fervent, strong, but at a time you see him collapse. Iga hu tuonye kuju putra no no kunobi. When I don't call me, I'm not going to Christ. Man, no, don't tell me anya. If you go on your own, call your own. They call Kudari Bube. The burning fire is no more. Oko ane moko muni me ya adekwage. But was not this man burning with fire before? Obu no obu go nya bo kun ere ere nambu. What happens that he is not burning with fire again? You can see a local church burning with fire, Zillow, committed to prayers, with preaching. The society will know well of that local church. But with time, they are not like that again. They have cooled down. Yes. They have cooled down. What happened? This is what we see in Christianity. You came into Christianity with great zeal. 
Christ. You were very serious. But what is happening to you now? You are called. You don't have power anymore. How to pray has become difficult. You are looking for something to cause you to rise again. It happens to the to denominations. You find a denomination fiery. But with passing years, you see that they become quiet. It's like a bar. When the bar comes into that place, music, dancing, people come in there. And people float into it. But after some years, everything cooled down. It could be like that in, of Christianity in a nation. You could hear that a nation was born, bond with Christianity. It was a light to the world. But with time, you are not seeing anything again. Who are the people that made Christianity boom in this nation? You cannot find again. Has come back to normal soon. The wall itself. At a time, you hear that Christianity was burning here and there. The, this nation is doing well. That man of God is doing well in that country, in that other country. The name of the Lord is exalted there, is exalted there. Revival is in the world. At a time, everything appears to disappear. You hear of some men of God. They did greatly well. After a while, you are not hearing them again. And yet they are still alive. Or not as before. Why are these things happening? Window of assemblies of God's church. Assemblies of God. Assemblies of God came with burning fire into this country. I remember, I think in 1970, somebody invited me or something happened that I went into assemblies of God in oh, my Maria. state. Assemblies of God in the state. The presence of God there made me to know that I was a sinner. Because it was alive. The presence of God was great. Assemblies of God was the answer. Assemblies. But now, you don't think of assemblies if of God again. They are battling to exist. To survive. Righteousness appears to have disappeared. Assemblies of God. 
The thing is happening like that. Oh, to a cause in Amen Dozo. Again, deeper life started with great power. I don't know whether it inherited the power of assemblies of God. But now, everybody is saying it's not as before. Christianity. Christ. How is it? What is it? Even your life, the graph of your life is moving like this. Move up, come down. Move up, come down. Denomination rise, denomination fall. To the point that even you that were seeing and doing well, they are waiting for your tomorrow. Because it has become a formula. It has become a standard that he that rises in Christianity must fall. Yes. We see this in the early church. The church boomed, turned the world upside down. But there was a time, maybe around the 12th uh, century, the church died and com almost completely disappeared from the universe. They called the period Dark Age. What happened to the burning fire? That upon the earth when the holy ghost came down what happened the jewish nation known to be a nation of god celebrated the power of god on earth but now completely silent the fire has been burnt up and the ashes have no have no no the heat is not even in the ashes anymore. Why is this thing so? Then I discover the reason why there's no stability in individuals, in denominations, in churches, local and world, international, is because of the nature of the God of Christianity. The nature of the God of Christianity is the reason for the lack of consistency in many Christians. It's the reason why you cannot continue you rise, you fall, you rise. It's because of the nature of the God of Christianity. The Bible tells us in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1. Verse Habakkuk, chapter 1, verse 
isimbu ahiro kumkiri na to habako wanted in habako isimbu okay let me read verse 12 to it Art thou not from everlasting, O Lord, my God, mine holy one? Abonisi tegi nebi ebi chine kenke din so. We shall not die, O Lord. Thou hast ordained them for judgment. Anya gaga mu i debe kama makipe. And O mighty God, Thou hast established them for correction. Chine kenke budi ke. Thou art of purer eyes than to behold iniquity. This is what I'm talking about. God cannot endure with iniquity. He cannot endure with your sins. The God of Christianity is a holy God. When he notices sin in your life, he will withdraw. When he discovers that you have allowed sin into your life, you won't see him again. When denominations go to embrace sin, they will not see God again. They see him as they give themselves to holiness. He is a holy God. Today, he is celebrated in holiness revival movement worldwide. But the moment the holiness revival movement goes off from his way and uh, 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 welcoming sin and iniquity, you won't see God there again. God is the driver of every vehicle. And when the driver moves out of that vehicle, it will park in that place. He is the driver of your life. And when he leaves your life, you will be abandoned. And sin makes him to live. That is why you see churches rise, churches fall. That is why you see individuals rise, individuals fall. That is why you see men of God rise, men of God fall. They rise with holiness and fall with sin. God cannot be condemned. You will justify him on every matter. You will justify his works. You are responsible for your present spiritual state. Assemblies of God is responsible for the spirit, for the present state, denominational state in Christ. assemblies of God They didn't perform, so God left them. They welcome sin among them so the Lord withdrew. Yes. Look at it in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 23. I read verse 14. The Bible tells us. 
For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy come ni. to deliver thee and to give up thine enemies before thee. Ni na jowa buchine kegi ne jayari ne titigi ina potage na kwa ime kandiro gi dana. Therefore shall thy camp be holy that he see no unclean thing in thee and turn away from thee. Ni hinka ogigegi gaderere nso ko gari unya na digi ocha ma gbakota gazu. The reason why your spiritual revival left because was because God saw iniquity in you and turn away from you. Iye bere na oku di ni megi nyura anyu no obochita. The reason why your father's ministry died it was because the Lord saw iniquity from in you and turned away from you. The reason why these churches disappeared the Lord saw iniquity in them and turn away from them. Let's know the secret. Otherwise, we'll be thinking that Satan is strong. That Satan is stronger than Jesus. No, Satan is not stronger. It's just the nature of that Jesus. He doesn't like hypocrisy. He is original God. The sun that he made in the sky is not a hypocritical sun. Otherwise, it would have ceased shining in the sky. The earth that he created is not hypocritical. It would have sunk down to the deep. He doesn't want hypocrites. People who could not be original. People who are speaking in their mouth and their hearts are far away. <laughs> he is not a politician looking for majority vote. No. He's a God of truth. It's a God of truth. There's no iniquity in him. That is what makes him live forever. His holiness is the reason why he lives forever. This attitude in him is the reason why he lives forever. He sent down the demon from heaven, from Satan from heaven. They will not corrupt his existence. He doesn't want you to corrupt his existence. You come before God, you're playing hypocrisy. And they're attaching you to God. You want to corrupt his name. You say they are calling your church after God. Salvation Church of Christ. You, you want to corrupt that name. That's where he withdrew. Iniquity is corrupting that name. Thy holy name. God's name is holy. So that is the reason. In the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 8 verse 6. Ezekiel chapter 8 verse He said further unto me Son of man Seest thou what they do Even the great abominations Even the great abominations That the house of Israel committed here That I should go far off from my sanctuary but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abomination. Can you see now? That's what he left. He said, This sanctuary, this temple. 
it shall be broken down no stone shall be upon another iniquity is filled in it human beings are coming to do all sacrifices and abominable things there. This temple shall be broken down. See what you do to make God live your life. The type of lies you tell. How will God be with you? He will leave you. He will not be with you. See the immorality of your life. How will God be there? The wickedness you manifest. God will not be there. I'm telling you. If we want God to be in holiness revival movement. There must be righteousness and holiness. Always. Those who made it to the end were those that maintained righteousness and holiness to the end. If you want to make it to the end, your righteousness and holiness must be held unto. That which ye have. Hold it fast. And, then, and, and, and that no man take your crown. You started a, a pastoral life. Very fine. People were enjoying you until money, money, love of money. You can take 1,000 naira. You can take 2,000 and not talk about it. You can take five. God abandoned you. But this man was fervent before. It was when the driver was in the car, the car was moving. Now the driver is not there. The car has developed problems, so the driver has to pack it. You couldn't drive it again. That's why you see the car parked there. Ah, but I saw this car here yesterday. Yes, it, it spoiled yesterday. So the driver left. Will the driver sleep in the car that spoiled it? That spoiled? So God left you yesterday. Because you spoiled. You brought sin into your life. He abandoned you. You did it in the church. People are doing it in the church. Pastors are no more talking. He abandoned the place. See what they do. The abominations that the house of Israel do here. So that I should leave my temple. Can we have hands come? And he left. Has he left your family? You started going into abominable practice with your wife. You started speaking foul, I mean, foul, I mean, foul language with your wife. He left. What happened? Quite serious. You become empty. A place where you wrote before. God is the silent person in this house. He's listening to all conversation. He does one, but now he's not there. Because you and your wife have gone into fighting. You have gone into speaking foul language. You have gone into criticism, backbiting, and gossip. You abandoned the place. I'm telling you, Christianity is a sensitive discipline. 
because of the God of that religion. In Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 3. And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub. Whereupon he was to the threshing hold of the house. Ebu ben ke Jehovah butine ke Israel we poa sitena eben di cherub we poa na ono zambata the glory left the cherub where it was Ebu butine ke yana di cherub we hapu luku butine ke abomination has been done here e abagwaro nu luku ya yes God is supposed to be with you as you are representing him. But when you start fighting yourself, criticizing yourself, he will leave. Any branch of holiness revival movement that are no more practicing the righteousness of God, he will leave them. Holiness revival movement it's a, it's a sensitive God. He's responsible for the known revival that you're talking about because he cannot take sin. So I'm talking about this matter. Why churches rise, churches fall? What way? Which means this holiness movement now we are in the in danger of falling. Yeah, mere. Nzukabu holiness. Ene anya ai no kwari here go the da. This God that we're enjoying, happy, He's with us in all things that we do. He's speaking always to us. He can abandon us. Chien kai ne kwari nduni me. Oye ne bugera iyo mini na awa ine juafo. Oye we rike ba hapani. When we give room to sin. So, please, when we fight sin, leave us alone. We don't want God to live. When we deal with the sinner so that God should be convinced and should know that we're not sparing sin. Please, you don't mama because we don't want God to leave this place. I got on your me, ah, at a bay, ah, about it. And yeah, I am talking to you. Like a happy What again is the reason why this Christianity rise and for you yourself? Why are you not stable in Christianity? Give me also where he keep it. Now, who do I know? But who better than Christ? Oh, what go get out? Oh, what to have? Oh, not a dig it. Why? Give me a the uncrucified flesh. The uncrucified flesh frustrates the work of the Holy Spirit. Man, this flesh you have. It, it frustrates Christianity. It is responsible for your rise and your fall. It is responsible for your instability. Your uncrucified flesh. Yes. In Romans chapter 8. I read verse 1 to verse 8. Romans chapter 8 from verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the who, which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. There are those who say they have come to Christ Jesus, but the flesh is still there and they're walking after the flesh. That is why they can never live the smooth Christian life. The flesh. 
For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. The principle of victory in Christ Jesus has to walk on the flesh. The miracle that has to bring salvation, freedom to man from sin, that miracle has to walk on the flesh. Because this is your flesh like this. The things you want. The things you don't want. The things that give you pleasure. The things that give you discomfort. This flesh. It has hindered smooth Christianity. It makes you unable. Is it not the flesh that you have not stayed? You have stayed for two, three years now. You have not slept with a woman. You have not met with a man. The flesh starts crying. <laughs> they have forgotten how they do it. In fact, plagiarism inside this thing now for three years. Cry, cry. Flesh. You, it makes you forget God. It makes you exalt the woman's body above eternal life. Flesh. Anwaru. Esau sacrificed his birthright because of food. Because of I, my, I am hungry and I'm smelling that food is fine. Flesh. That's why Christianity is difficult. Some of these churches that are doing very well, some human beings came up there and said I must be the ruler. I am more intelligent. I can marry here. I can control these people. This is a spiritual assignment. He said, No. He must be there. The flesh. Kill everything. The organization of God bringing the spiritual, placing things according to spirituality. They said, No, we don't want it. How will Moses come up and say, hey, God said he is the leader? And he carries his senior brother, Aaron, Aaron, and put him in high priest. Carry Miriam. You should take care of women. This God is a family matter. Oh, yeah, I was a, oh, yes, no, no. I must come in there too. That is how assemblies of God died. Because they were not giving room to the man God chooses. Every man is, I am, I am, I can do it. You can do what? Have you been to heaven before? Do you know how God moves? Have you known how he, the, the universe moves? moves? That you, you feel you can put yourself into things that are of God? You want to use intelligence. And are you more intelligent than Satan? Is it not by intelligence is destroying the world? You brought the flesh <laughs> into the church. And the church died. Church members started choosing their pastor. No, we don't want this one. We don't want that. Okay, we don't, we don't want this. Let's vote. Let's vote. And they turn the thing into politics. The spirit of God left. They remain abandoned. What happened? 
and are moving in politics. But the God of the church has gone. He cannot identify with them to spoil his name. He has been coming from eternity in holiness. Oh, nice. Destiny be needing so. And you are temporal. Do you want the temporal to affect the eternity? That's why he abandoned you. Let your generation pass. He will raise up another. That will do righteousness with him. The flesh. That is it. Verse 3. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. All this commandment, all these instructions, God is giving. Your flesh will not allow it. Thou shall not steal. If you don't steal, how will you build a house that will give pride to the flesh? If you don't steal, how will you revenge upon the government that is not paying salary? You want to do something so that you feel satisfied. The flesh is the one looking for satisfaction. It's the flesh. Somebody abused you and people are watching and you're keeping quiet. Are, are you the least? Is it that you don't have power? The flesh is the one asking you that question. Show forth yourself. Go see on again. Show forth yourself. Go see on again. That is the flesh. Then you draw near. Eh? What did you say? What is it? It's not getting there, Maggie. Go to buy. The flesh has taken over. And the word of God cannot be kept because of the flesh. All who chineke agaga agan koma ni he. When they slap you in one cheek, turn the other, the flesh says, Never, it cannot work. So, the commandment of God is weakened by the flesh. You who love yourself, who are projecting yourself, who are defending yourself, who are uh, whatever you say, self-seeking, you will not be able to keep this word of God. How will you agree to be the least among the people? Which way will your mind agree that you should sit down there and say nothing, don't talk, don't ask questions, don't sing, don't just be quiet because the Holy Spirit has not yet led you. Ah, uh, uh, Holy Spirit will lead me before people will know that I am here. Ah, Kedi ki gesi we na giden we ekunuka atupunano bankiti makan mosa si begi si mosa ada dili mowi ingaba giden kiti rainbow ne. How do I sit here quiet as if I am not here? People will ask me why you, you are quiet. Something happened to you today. It's as if you were not there. The flesh is asking you to break. The commandment of God of wait for me to give you word. If I do not give you word, stay there. I know how I can do that. Nina, a barankiti, you go up with it, run a mechanical bankiti, bankiti, much in the game will begin your word again. Over and over, I get a key, my dear goody. Samson, the woman pleases me, she's beautiful, I love her. Osina, why, yeah, na na. I love that woman. She's beautiful. Go and get her for me to marry. Samson, you know she's serving idols. She is of parents that serve idols. Put that thing aside. I said the woman is beautiful. I need her. 
When I carried that woman, we're moving on the street. People mm. see her beauty and say, Samson, is he your wife? Hey, ah. I will be happy. As a result, the word of God cannot be kept. That let God lead you in marriage. Let God pray until the Lord clearly shows you the, the person, the man, the woman. No, I have found one. Mm -hmm. So, for what the Lord could not do, in that the law was weak to bring forth righteousness through, through the flesh, the flesh resists it. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. It has to be by power. Something oh must happen by power to bring that flesh under subjection. Otherwise, you see alcohol like this, and Bible is here. And you know, inside this Bible, it says, Don't take alcohol, but I like this thing. I don't know. Let me take it. Bible, be patient with me. The flesh will not allow you. It is only when this miracle of salvation is done in your life, verse 4, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. So the flesh will not allow you. When Saul sinned, he was sitting with his cabinet. When Saul, Samuel was saying, You have sinned. Then as Samuel was going, Somewhere when I could how will you talk to me like that in the presence yeah, of the Spirit? Please come back, sir. As he grabbed that cloth, um, drew somewhere the cloth. It's because he would not humble. It's the flesh. He had become king. Oh yes, yes, a combo. Even somebody is a subject under him. Oh, but I did man. Why is somebody not giving him honor? Give him as the summer that you can have I have seen, but honor me. Oh, 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 no, oh, 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 it becomes difficult for God to manage man. Except the few that can handle the flesh and die to the flesh. Let me tell you something. Only those ones. Otherwise, those who walk in the flesh cannot please God. Verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. All that concerns them in the church is money. All that concerns them in the church is position. You will find if you take them away from that position, the church has finished. Uh -huh. How am I where I have been to one talking to the people? How can I come and sit down? Somebody's talking to me. Some, some superior pastors would have been here, but the flesh will not allow them. 
Because they have known me as the bishop, as the president. How do I come and sit down here before a boy as if uh, I am uh, a non entity? That's why the cannot of God, the revival they had before has died because of the flesh. I will be ashamed to come and sit among those children. What am I looking for? I will be ashamed. And he doesn't know it. God is not in him. The flesh has blocked God from him. God seeing him in flesh cannot come in. He is a dead person. Waiting for her. That's the problem. That's why men go up and they come down. They carry revival strong, but then it is the things. The flesh. Pride. Shame. There's somebody that says, it's better you die than that you should be ashamed. He doesn't know what is waiting for a man after death. He just feels that, no, it will be at my back that they can be talking that thing. At that time, I've died. Because of shame. All is the flesh. You can't confess your sins. Uh, how can I, who have been in the church for 20 years, come to be confessing? Whose sin is that? They have known me all over the all over the country. How will they be telling one another that I, I, I say I am a wizard? I am a witch. I am which type of thing? Die and later let everything become silent. The flesh. They that walk in the flesh cannot please God. That's why your Christianity became quiet. There's no noise again. That is it. Oh yeah. A young man can be bubbling in Christianity, walk, shout evangelism, do all these things, and a lady will just come and lower him to immorality, and that will shut up his mouth. He cannot confess it again. How can I go and be telling people that I evangelist? Everybody knows me as I'm evangelist. This, how would they come and say I committed fornication? No, no, no. God choose to deal with me. Just bear with me. Like that. If you want me to win more souls, I can go to many other places. But for to confess this, no, no. It, it will make me ashamed. Is it not this shame you're sitting upon? That's why your Christian life dies. Something to confess to your wife, you cannot do. A man that cornered you in the office, and before you knew you are falling down for that man, you can't tell your husband and girl, ah, no, no, ah, 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 ah. that's why you die. Only in Kebera, Jidegebe, and our Lord, to be married here, and our women are going to Ghana. You want to keep what digi? Is God responsible? Oh, but you know, because is Christianity unpractical religion? Oh, but now, you better get Christ, say, I'll be here again, Memu. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. That's the matter. They that are in the flesh cannot please God. 
That is the matter. And the Bible tells us for to be carnally minded is dead. You are in the church is only on money. Money. Oh, pastors, women. Pastor. What again? You know, so receive gifts. You be telling people have you people have not given me gift. You pay, give me, give me. Give me. The Holy Spirit is controlling you, rebuking you. You can't take it. The flesh. Kai. People disappoint God. A young man said the Lord took him to heaven and there was sending back sending him back to the earth. And the Lord asked him, Many people I sent down disappointed me. They turned the whole thing into pride. I saw Jesus. I saw Jesus. Jesus told me. They turned the thing into pride. So that human beings should be, be, uh, become, uh, should respect them. I say, hey, you saw Jesus. Hey, can I touch you? You saw Jesus. Can hey, I you Jesus. Jesus. Why did you turn the thing into the flesh? Jesus asked him, many people that I gave this ministry to disappointed me. Jesus was here. Can I depend upon you? Gimwa, nga tu kwasi mugobi. Will you go and kill that flesh? Egala uanuaru that made many people unable to serve and obey me. Kene kwege ko tutundi urubera misi ma Jeremosi. So that is it. Oh kwaya kai neku. What other reason? Gine bosa zo. There are too many discouraging examples of Christian failures. When pe many people fail exam in the class, the, those who fail don't fail it again. About 100 people wrote the exam. This is 90 people fail. So what is it? It's failure is common. Ah, since you are seeing people failing, you fail. Uh, what about I fail? Uh, uh, even the this other person fell. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, you are talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> a man, a brother was asked, a, a, a relation was asked. Why, why did you get 18, either 18% in mathematics? What made you to get 18% in mathematics? Either 10 or 18 or whatever. Why did you make you, why did you fail? Oh, to one knock out your say, give me a region, what percent you didn't start on a leggy. He said, Many of us fail. Even the best person in the class in mathematics got only 64 or something like this. You understand? <laughs> the best person got only 64. So if he got 10, what is anything too terrible there? Too many examples of failures. Many people are failing. And as a result, you fail too and you're not feeling it. Nothing is moving you. No. I must turn. Elder so so and so. You don't know, you didn't hear about his wife. He sent away his wife. Because these women are very stubborn. Am I, am I the only one? 
Bishop, uh, go and ask of Bishop. Uh, he has seen the with three wives. He's in the fourth one. So you now, where people are failing. People it's because of the nature of women. It's because of the nature of women. Don't blame me. That is why they cannot please God. They don't have encouraging example. And that's how you are. Your environment has no encouragement. No, nobody in the church is an encouragement from pastor down you sit there waiting for hell in hellfire every one of you will have apartment for himself the fire will burn so much that you will not see another person you will regret comforting yourself because everybody has failed. That is what you need to do. Other is the case of this life. They need for money. Suffering is too much. As a result, you can't maintain this Christianity. The suffering is too much. How do you do this guide man work? You are guiding, you are the, you are the guard, and uh, the salary is small. Here is vehicle parked. You can lose something from there and go and sell and be able to pay your children's school fees. How can you just be here? The suffering is too much. Now I can get Kaga Sigi Buru, my God, and when you bought him, Ricky Topota, they are quorum, I could walk away in only Negonania. Okay, oh, you're looking for money in a trego. Now I I can have money. They say, if we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. We'll get the money. You are going for it. You are going for it. The cares of this life. The love of money. And then, let's round up on Satan too. Satan. His presence is to remove anything called Christianity in your life. Using every means. Using every woman. Provoking every circumstance. You're doing well. He's not happy. You're doing well. Satan is not happy. He wants you to fall. He will organize a woman for you. He will organize a man for you. He will organize deception for you. He will organize friends for you. He will organize everything for you. He told Jesus, see the world and his glory. I, I give to whomsoever I want. Satan will come like that. He will work on how to initiate you to witchcraft. He gets the people better when he initiates them into witchcraft. He tells them in the witchcraft that there is no power more than his own. He tells them there that the word of God is not as they are seeing it. He will give them different message altogether. He can bring back an old man that has died for long and say, see this man now, do you see him uh, Do you see him dead? Do you see him suffering anywhere in hell? He's my faithful servant. I put, gave him a kingdom somewhere. So I just wanted him to, I wanted him to come and just greet you. Because 
didn't set and bring Samuel from dead. Was he Samuel? Samuel? But he had convinced Saul that it was Samuel. Saul he will do everything to convince these witches and wizards. Uh, so that they should not think of God or any other power anywhere. One of such witch, one of such uh, 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 witches said, Satan told them that Pastor Paul Rika will soon come and join us. So don't bother with all those things he's saying. He's soon coming. And so don't be th all those things he's saying don't be thinking that you will leave witchcraft he's coming back he's coming and you are leaving what is you are losing with this now they keep quiet and submit to doom when the christianity is hypocritical no hope. They start promoting them. You are queen of this. You are the king here. As you yeah. are the one here. He the one you never. And start giving them the name. The you are in level three, three, three. You know, no, go, 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 you are in level no, 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 no. Just confuse them like that. Oh, yeah, oh, buruka, Christianity is not prospering. And these ones are working against Christianity. To affect any original Christian. If you see your Christianity is a serious one, they start pursuing you. To make sure you don't continue. To make sure you backslide. They will look for your trouble. They will organize problems for you. Christianity is a sensitive religion. And yet, people make it to heaven. Yes. People make it to heaven. In Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white white robes and psalms in their hands First thirteen. And one of el one of the elders answered saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that seated on the throne shall dwell among them. People with all these challenges be informed that Seated among us are people who are true Christians. Be informed, standing among us are people that will make the rapture with all these challenges. 
they will make it, they will be overcomers. Yes. They will be overcomers. That is what the Lord wants you to know. Stand firm and overcome. So that you can make it to this heaven. Otherwise, Christianity is a sensitive thing. Revelation chapter 2 verse 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life. Which is in the midst of the paradise of God. You need to overcome. In verse 11. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. There are promises for you that can overcome this thing. How then do you overcome? Make up your mind. Be resolute in your heart. You will serve this God. You will not fail him. You will not offend him. Just be purposed in your heart. And when God sees that you are steadfastly minded, he will surround you with protection. When he saw that Ruth was steadfastly minded, the Lord assisted her. Yes, the Lord assisted her. Be purposed that you will not transgress. Always cry to God for help. In Psalm 12, verse 1, Help, Lord, for the godly man Caesar. For the faithful fell from among the children of men. That is the prayer we pray constantly. God, I look around, I cannot really see real churches in their numbers standing for you. Now I find myself standing today. Help me. Help! God! The members will want to bring sin into this movement. The leaders may want to bring flesh into this movement. To corrupt it. And to cause you to leave it. Help! Oh Lord! That we will maintain righteousness to the end. Plead for yourself. Ask God to help you. That this Christianity you will not fall away. It is slippery for people. But if you pray, grace will be given to you. If you ask God earnestly, help will come. Make up your mind. Pray earnestly that you will go to heaven. Make a deliberate choice of truth. Deliberate choice of truth. In Psalm 119 verse 20. Psalm 119 verse 20. Deliberately choose the truth. 
That is the only way you can be saved. Yeah. Eh. Yes. Eh. My soul breaketh for the longing that it hath unto the judgment at all times. My soul is breaking. I need your truth. I need your word. I have made up my mind, Lord. I have made up my mind to serve you. To do your truth. To live in your truth. That is what God wants you to do. I have chosen the path of truth. Deliberately go and look for the truth of God and follow it. In the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 1 Chronicles, Deliberately go to look for where you find truth. Here can I Verse 9. Yes. So David admonished Solomon. David in Solomon on the model. About following this God in truth. Yes. And thou Solomon. Solomon. My son. And thou Solomon, my son. Solomon. No doubt the God of thy father. And, and serve him with a perfect heart. And with a willing man. For the Lord searched all things. And understand it, all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee away for him. Go and look for truth. Follow it. As a pastor, look for the doctrines of truth. And teach it. Join the people, the caravans of truth. People that are following this word of truth. In 1 John chapter 1. I read verse 3. Yes. That which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. The Lord has brought this truth on your way. The Lord has brought this group holiness revival movement on your way to solve the problem of backsliding in Christianity. That you may have people to be encouragement to you. Come to it. Let's move together. Can you take all? Bates of the same feathers flock together. You will learn the truth. You will live in the truth. Moses said to Hobab, Moses, come along with us. Moses said, Hobab, the Lord has spoken good things concerning you. It shall be as the Lord will bless us that you too will be blessed. Otherwise, the fake Christians and fake ministers we have in the world today, they're too alarming. And God has left them. Because 
sin has come into their lives. God has left these churches, many of them, because sin has entered among them. Therefore, let's move together to serve this God. Yes. Yeah. Lay hold on eternal life. Make sure you go to heaven. David said to someone that ran away from Saul. David, the priest. That ran away from Saul. Saul is pursuing you. Saul on He that is pursuing you is also pursuing me. But come along with me. In me there is sure assurance of safety because god is with me the lord has spoken good concerning me you will be saved you will be protected Saul will not find you because i know my enemy will not find me. The Lord has spoken good concerning me. To keep you. So that you can be preserved. So that is what we have risen together today. Christianity is slippery. Sin makes it slippery. People rise, people fall. Churches rise, churches fall. Great ministers rise, they fall. Because of sin. Because of the nature of the God of Christianity. Because of the nature of the flesh of man. That flesh must be crucified with Christ. Brother, walk on yourself. Otherwise, this Christianity will not take you to the end. Sister, walk on yourself. Be ready to lose the whole world. And get this goal if you miss heaven the fault is not with God it is because you have ears you didn't hear love your, your soul care for your soul bring it to God to preserve by making a promise you will never transgress I am purposed that my lips shall not transgress. Job said, My righteousness will I not let go. Job Daniel's purpose in his heart that he will not defile himself. Daniel Paul said, Check me. I have. I, 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 he said he has lived in all good conscience before God until this day. Paul, see, God is witness. And ye are also witness. How holily and justly and unblameably I behaved myself among them that believe. Join them who live this Christian life to the end. And they that shall continue to the end, the same shall be saved. I have come to wake you up and to plant you again. And, but at this time, all stones have been removed. Release your root and grow. Don't fall again. Let's rise up upon our feet. Make a promise and tell yourself. 
Don't, don't follow examples of failures. Go to heaven yourself. Don't mind those who are not, who are not mindful for heaven. Oh, when the saints go marching in, go marching in. When the saints go marching in, oh my Father, Lord, I want to be in the moment. When the saints go marching in, oh when the saints, oh when the saints go marching in, go marching in. When the saints go, go marching in, oh my Father, Lord, Lord I want to be in a number. When the saints go marching in, remove yourself from backsliding and rise up and stand forever. Where's it going? We're gonna die. Cheers, we'll be here now. Can you read me? Stand forever. Guzoro Rebbe. Revive. Today. Stand forever. Guzoro Rebbe. In Christianity. No Bubere Christ. In the righteousness of Christ. Nezio Momenke Christ. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe Lord and 
ਦਾ